So here we're going to have an exponential uh, model problem that has a couple of small wrinkles in it. So let's say we have a certain bacteria that triples every 30 minutes. What is the size of the population after t hours? How long does it take? Uh, and then we'll find out how long it takes to quadruple. So first off, let's talk about building our model. And I'm going to use the form y equals a b to the t because it makes doubling, tripling, quadrupling half-life very easy to deal with. So I know A is my initial amount, and I know it's going to triple after 30 minutes. So typically what we do is we put T over 30. The problem with this is that T would then be in minutes, but we were asked to do it in hours. So what I'm going to need to do is, is change this just a little bit. So it triples every 30 minutes, or it triples every half hour. So I'm going to do t divided by 1 half, okay, which we can rewrite as a times 3 to the 2t, because every half an hour we want to multiply by 3, so it makes sense to have a 2 up there. Now, if we knew our initial, we could create our model, and our goal is to figure out now how long it takes to quadruple. We don't need to know an initial amount to know that. Because if we start off with A, well then I want to find out, oops, if I start off with A, I want to find out how long it's going to take to get up to 4A. So first thing I'm going to do is divide both sides by A, because 4A is quadruple A, and I get something that no longer involves A. So I have 4 equals 3 to the 2T and now we're at the point where we want to employ log or natural log. I'll use natural log this time because that allows me to pull the exponent out front. So I have natural log of of 4 equals 2 times t times natural log of 3. Divide both sides by 2 natural log of 3 because I want to get rid of these. So I divide the side by 2 ln of 3 and what I'm going to get for t, we're going to bring out the calculator. You do want to be a little careful how you put this one in. Again, another small wrinkle. Uh, ln of 4, close the parentheses, divided by, now I'm going to put the whole denominator in parentheses so I can put it in at once. ln of 3, close both sets. And I've got that it's going to take about 6, 3 hours. <coughs> Or, if we wanted to convert this to minutes, we can multiply by 60. So about 37.86 minutes. So, a couple little wrinkles in there that make that one a little bit interesting.